What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for hanging in there as I transition into my new job and stuff. Um, so over the weekend, there was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of reunion show drama. The first major piece of news broke out via the Ashley's Reality Roundup and she was like, okay, so breaking news, Uncle Dave slashed a bunch of balloons at the reunion show as he was trying to leave because he was cut off from the bar and like he was angry and this and that. And this kind of shocked producers and everyone on staff at the TV show because no one really ever expected the cast to walk around with these sorts of weapons first of all and to second of all you know whip them out like it's not like he stabbed anyone or pointed it at anyone or anything like that but the fact that he decided to slash a bunch of decorative balloons that were for the show is just insane and according to her um, the cast has never ever had to go through like metal detectors or anything like that before for pretty obvious reasons but because of him for the first time ever on the second day of shooting for the reunion the cast had to get like patted down, wanded down I should say, and like go through the security measures because like he ruined it for everyone. This show's been on the air for like a decade and it took this like backwoods like weirdo to ruin the simple process of getting in and getting out for everyone in the show. Since the news broke, quite a few of the cast has taken to social media to kind of tease at what happened. Um, some people like Randy outright described what happened. Some people like Leah talked about how their friends reacted to what happened. But it all started off with Janelle going on an Instagram, you know, rant. I watched her live. I recorded it and everything. I could upload it for anyone who missed it. Um, uh, discussing her take on what happened. And then her ex, Nathan, went on Twitter live with his girlfriend to discuss their take on what happened. And Chelsea's father, Randy Huska, claims that the most accurate portrayal of what went down was what Nathan and his girlfriend Ashley had said. And he actually went as so far as to say hashtag Team Doris, you know, because of the whole custody situation and um, because Doris actually did come out on stage as well at a certain point. So anyway, this is the gist of what they were saying, um, Nathan and his girlfriend, because that, again, is the one that seems to be the most accurate. So Nathan claims that the fight all broke out when Janelle was upset at the fact that he and his girlfriend had hooked her mother, Barbara, like Nathan was like, I was nothing but respectful to Barbara. Barbara on her way out went to give Ashley a hug and then I gave her a hug. And as we were walking away, Janelle was walking behind us and she was like, I thought you weren't gonna film, blah, blah, blah. And she went into a full blown rage about that, called Ash, uh, my girl, called my girlfriend a bitch and everything like that. And um, just was harping on the fact that she shouldn't be filming. And you guys, it's so crazy how the idea of someone else being on the show pisses Janelle off so bad. Like, don't forget, it seems like she refused to film on the same set as her mother at the same time, you know, in hopes of getting her parts cut out. We've seen her for two seasons now refuse to film with her mother as well in hopes of getting her cut out as well. So it's just, this is Janelle's total MO. So I absolutely believe it 100%. And another question about this is Janelle on her live was like, well, I was pissed off because my mom didn't hug me. Well, Janelle, you very clearly do not like your mom. You didn't even have her at your wedding. So I don't understand why that's something that you would be pissed off about because you've decided to excommunicate yourself from your mom so I would just keep it moving if I you know legitimately did not care for my parent or anyone I would not care who they hug because they're no longer my problem once I excommunicate myself also according to Nate David actually went as far as causing a huge scene screaming at Barbara and as they continued to hound uh, Nathan and his girlfriend things got so heated that like Nate said that he put his girlfriend in like one of those rooms like a side room or something like that Janelle kept going at them going at them and he called for security to help them out and security refused to help he claims it's because he's a guy why is he a guy and that Chelsea in passing was like hey do you want me to watch Kaiser while this goes down because this is just no place for the child right so that was pretty interesting to me to hear that Chelsea actually offered to help watch Kaiser in the midst of all of this because remember Chelsea and Janelle have like a pretty like big feud going on I mean it's not as big now but it was quite big when their pregnancies were first announced Janelle was like why is everyone happy for Chelsea not happy for me remember um, Chelsea launched a blog after Janelle launched a blog Janelle was like monkey see monkey do so on and so forth Janelle has even called her dad like a fat f-u-c-k like she has really been antagonizing Chelsea and her family so for Chelsea to go and offer to help her child in the midst of all of this drama is like damn girl that's really nice of you I don't know if I would personally Nathan even pointed out the fact that Janelle claimed that she wanted an Airbnb instead of a hotel like everyone else because she was scared of everything that went down with the Vegas incidents he was like if you're so scared then why are you not concerned that your kids are in the freaking hotel and um Janelle 
Chanel claimed on her own Instagram live that she was so concerned about the kids, she reached out to the parents, everything about getting Airbnbs and Bs instead. But to me, I felt like she was lying on that because her, the way she finished that sentence was so bizarre. You know, it's not the way that any one of you or I would describe something involving, you know, our hypothetical kids, right? She was like, this is her exact term. She was like, you know, like, I'm so scared with all this Vegas stuff, blah, 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 blah. So I told them, you know, uh, Nathan's mom and I told Barbara they should be in Airbnbs instead and they refused so I was like okay whatever yes my kids were at the hotel but the thing is it's my mom's weekend and it's Nathan's weekend so be and be with me for one night but you know they both said you know it's our time and I was like fine whatever and I was like fine who says okay whatever if they're really legitimately scared about their kids being killed in a terror attack like i'm pretty sure anyone else would finish that sentence by being like you know it's so frustrating but it's out of my hands no one would be like okay whatever it really does look like the show was an absolute like shit show like randy keeps saying on twitter and this is just a bunch of disjointed information from starcasm from teen mom troops from the ashley like just from the general internet like from what i'm hearing um um, at a certain point, Janelle was signing autographs and stuff to shoot out into the audience and stuff for fans. David called her off backstage, told her they had to pack up and go, and like there were no mics at that point, so people just watched her like quickly put pants on under her dress and like book it with him. Apparently, before all of this happened, again, David was cut off from the alcohol bar because he was drinking too much. There are Snapchats of him going behind the bar and like um, pouring drinks for himself. Randy said that he had like a roulette of jello shots and all of that that were given to him by producers and stuff for a scene and David actually just came and took eight of them even though Randy told him that it was for a shot and he was just like shot okay and it's just it's so crazy what happens when you bring someone who literally has never been anywhere a day in their life out in public to a work event to a you know a, a high budget event like david really does not know how to act it seems uh, apparently barbara continued talking about how david's isolation of janelle is unlike anything she's experienced with the other guys before nathan talked about how janelle is super submissive with david in a way that he's never seen her before with him or anybody else and the whole plot of land thing he addressed the whole abuse stuff with Kaiser and cited um, the, the scene the feed me David dragging Kaiser across the yard all of that stuff apparently his mom never even intended to go on stage at the reunion but she was just so frustrated by what was going on that she just insisted on getting on stage with Dr. Drew People were talking, I don't know if it was Nathan or his mom or Barbara who was talking about David isolating Janelle. And allegedly, Dr. Drew said something along the lines of maybe Janelle just, you know, needs someone who can contain her. And that is just no way to speak about a woman, first of all. And second of all, a woman whose close family and friends suspect her of being abused like that is just such an odd way to deflect from that and i really hope that makes it to air so that we can see how big of a farce he is because that's absolutely ridiculous and i just i don't even know what they're gonna i feel like they're gonna have to cut this reunion into three segments or something based on everything that go went down like at a certain point nathan claimed that K kale and a couple of other people left during all of this fighting and fussing between janelle david and all of them because they were like this is just not what the show is this is a mess the kids should not be here for all of this i'm leaving and kale at that point had not shot her one-on-ones or her segments or anything like that so only time will tell what does make it to the final reunion, but if it's anything like the Ashley, Starcasm, Teen Mom Truths, like all the blogs all about the Teen Moms are reporting, it's going to be crazy. And I really do hope that uh, David slashing balloons on his way out makes it on air. Everyone was like, that was just so bizarre. Randy was like, no one was scared, but it just goes to show character that someone would just slash balloons at a work event instead of just pushing them to the side uh he's like they never blocked my way or anything like that and he claimed that no one was scared uh let me reiterate but then leah was like well my friend was scared shitless when she heard that and i kind of on leah on that too like i wouldn't be scared as 
S H I T. If I were at a random like event and all I heard was a loud pop, especially, you know, with the current climate, the current state of affairs, I'd be like, duck everybody, duck, where's my kids? Where's my kids? Jump. And remember you guys, Janelle deleted her Twitter account, but she uh, kind of revived it under that Janelle PR Twitter account, which we all know is actually run by her and was like, oh, Randy, you're making up lies. You're just mad because this, you're just mad because that, the jello shots said this, that. And she tagged like a bunch of the cast members and they're all like, why the hell are we tagged? I'm like, Ugh. it must be embarrassing to be Janelle at this point. Brianna seemed to have been really low key at all of this reunion stuff, so I'm not too sure what role she played, especially considering the fact that it seems like she's formed some sort of alliance with Janelle. Janelle was posting a lot of photos with her. Um, Brianna was even disputing the Ashley's original claims about what went down at the reunion special. Brianna, I know you're not the sharpest tool in the shed, but let me just say this, I do know that you are sharp enough to at least know that you should not be aligning yourself with Janelle Evans of all people. If there's a cast of four people and three of them hate one, there's probably something wrong with that one person. How crazy is all of this teen mom reunion drama? You guys are probably exhausted from talking about it. Uh, I know you guys have been tagging me like crazy. I've been meaning to post this since Sunday, then Monday happened, and now here we are. Leave all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. You can also like this video, subscribe for more, Feel free to share it with your friends as well and follow me across social media where I absolutely love chatting with you. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.